When people think about finding vulnerable devices on the internet, they may think about Shodan. While Shodan does great at finding a lot of IoT devices that have been accidentally connected to the internet and leak too much information, we can use Google Dorking as well. Camera login and viewing pages are usually HTTP. That means that Google will index them and provide them for viewing if you know the right search string. My advice is to use a VPN or a Tor connection and not to expose your real IP address when connecting to these devices. One common format for webcam strings is searching for tap.htm in the URL with the string current time included. You'll find a lot of results this way. In URL tap.htm and in URL current time. Once again, you are not allowed to log into a device if it's asking for a password even though the password is written in clear text. This is unauthorized access and is illegal in most countries. This is the first camera. Let's try other dorks to find public accessible webcams. In URL, CGI start, a question mark, page, and equals. Wow, very interesting. There is a lot of snow. And another one in title, live view, and in title, axis. This one is not working well. Let's try another one. This one. There is a very nice lake in a mountain area. In fact, all you have to know is the content of the default page of a specific webcam brand. In title, IP camera, viewer, and in text, settings, or a vertical bar, a pipe, client setting. And we found a lot of cameras. This vertical bar is the OR logical operator and will show you all sites that contain setting or client setting. At the end of this lecture, I want to show you a website called the Google Hacking Database, this website. It contains an index of thousands of search queries or dorks used to find publicly available information intended for pen testers and security researchers.